Hey, it's me, the Rhino, Survival Skills 101. I am the Bruno Mars of survival. Except I can't dance, and I can't sing, I, I can't play an instrument, uh, I'm not black, uh, I don't have any money, uh, and Bruno Mars probably doesn't do anything survival, but still, we have a lot in common. Anyway, today I want to show you the importance of having a safe and what to put in that safe. Check it. Okay, I want to talk to you about having a safe. Now, as you can see, this is a little uh, safe from uh, Century Safe, uh, and basically what this is is a fire and waterproof safe. Uh, I have another safe that keeps my guns in, a big, big safe, hard to move, but you know what? Since this is Survival Skills 101, I'm going to be talking about you beginner preppers, uh, and maybe those people that live in like apartments that can't, or that you simply can't afford to buy a big safe to hold all your stuff in. But I want to say a safe is very important for you to keep your documents and a lot of other things in. So uh, so this was one of my first safes that I ever bought uh, only to keep papers in. And this cost, I don't know, like 49 bucks. It was really cheap. But what we're doing, well, the reason they have a safe is so one, things don't get stolen. Got it. But two, to protect yourself against fire and water damage. Fire meaning the house is on fire and typically water damage because they put water on the fire to put it out. And so having a safe at the very minimum to protect yourself against fire and water damage is hugely important. Now this safe obviously wouldn't protect you from getting your stuff stolen, but you know what? I'm not putting my guns or anything like that in here. I'm putting my important documents in here. And basically it has a key. It opens up like this and it's got a seal around it that uh, will protect it for, a, I don't know, a minimum amount of time against fire and water. Now, I would not, or I would not suggest this kind of safe if you could afford a bigger one. Uh, I bought this a number of years ago and uh, I started putting my stuff in it. Now what I do is I put this whole safe in my bigger safe so I have a double protection layer uh, to protect my paper. So anyway, well, what do we put in this kind of safe here? Well, we wanna put anything that's going to, that we're going to need in the case of some kind of survival issue, but also to protect it against um, fire and water. And if something else gets stolen, we'll have information in here that we can use in case that, that happens. And I'll explain that. Anyway, uh, first thing that like I would put in, in, the, in here is I would put um, an extra set of car keys. Um, you could put uh, jewelry in here, your immuniz immunization record, your social security cards. Uh, and your passports. That's one thing that you're going to need to keep it all together. Put it in a fireproof safe. The second thing, uh, and then you have all kinds of important personal papers in here. I'm not going to go through all my personal papers and show you. However, anything that's important, uh, like um, deeds or uh, car titles or anything like that, you need to keep them together and be able to protect them in case of fire, uh, wills, whatever. Another important thing you should keep in here are these data sticks. And what's on this data stick? Well, I went around my house and I took pictures of everything in my house. TV sets, guns, uh, anything of value, all kinds of jewelry. I, put, um, I took a picture of with the serial numbers and then I downloaded them all to this data stick. Now, I had two of them. Put one here and I put one somewhere else in case one of them got destroyed. Or, and the important thing is, if someone broke into my house and stole whatever, I could at least have pictures for the police so they could see what got stolen. All right, and that's very important and you should put it in a, your fireproof uh, safe. Because if the house burns down, you're going to need it to show the insurance company and that's very important. The next thing you should have uh, in your fireproof safe is some cash. Okay, now in, in this kind of safe, uh, you want to hide it, man. You want to hide it somewhere where people can't find it. Uh, or you might just have a bigger one. That's okay. But you always need to have cash on hand as a prepper. All right. Now, some of you out there are going, yeah, well, cash is going to be worthless in a, uh, in a, uh, some kind of scenario. Well, you know what? Not every scenario cash is going to be worthless. But you know, it might be hard to go to the bank to get money. So you should always have cash on hand. You know, I talk about how everybody having a passport and then have cash in case you need to leave the country. Well, 
got cash on hand. Now, people ask, how much cash should you have on hand? I want to tell you that it's up to you how much cash you have on hand. It depends on the size of your family. Uh, I always think that you should have, I don't know, about a thousand bucks cash on hand hidden in your safe or hidden somewhere that you have access so you don't have to go to the bank. Now, uh, this is just some just a little bit of cash that I have, but it's a, there's a $100 bill as you can see. Normally I would never have $100 bills because it's too big in a situation where you need to buy something, you don't need to be handing them a $100 bill uh, and it just brings attention to you. So you should have uh, de denominations of 10, 20, uh, all of that. Uh, really small denominations uh, with your cash, but you should always have cash on hand and it should go into a fireproof kind of safe, just like this. or or when you get better at prepping, have a bigger, stronger safe that people can't move that's important for fire. Uh, and then again, once again, I want to go over this. Have your car titles, have your deeds, have all your important paperwork, your wills, your birth certificates, all of those things in one place. You might not be able to put a big uh, safe in your apartment. So you have this and it's easy to grab and take it with you in the event of a fire. So have a waterproof, fireproof safe, the very minimum, and then start working your way up to bigger, better safes because safes are super important uh, to protect your stuff. Have a fireproof, waterproof safe. Um, work your way up to a bigger, better, batter safe to keep your guns, everything like that, stored away so people can't steal them. Super important, don't overlook it. Anyway, I, this excites me so much, I might bust out and start dancing like James Brown. If I knew how to dance like James Brown. Well, if you like what we're doing, please subscribe to our channel. For Survival Skills 101, I'm the Rhino. Are you prepared to look forward?